black locust flowering here. This has got to be one of the most remarkable trees that the earth has. The flowers, um, these white clusters, are totally edible. They taste just like sweet peas from the garden. Um, black locust is a nitrogen fixing tree. It's in the pea family. You can see the leaves. The wind's not blowing them too much. Are these little ovals? They're, uh, these are actually leaflets. And so one leaf would be this whole thing here. And it's just split into all these different leaflets. Black locust has thorns on it that are born in pairs. There's almost always two together. Let's see. I don't know if you can see those. They're pretty small on this tree. I'll show you some bigger ones in a moment. Here we go. These ones are much better to look at. See those thorns coming off in pairs? They're not huge spikes, but they are sharp. Here's the bark of black locust. Generally, black locust is a gnarly, twisty tree. One thing I want to point out while we're looking at this uh, nitrogen-fixing tree is the way that it grows. If you look around, you'll see all these different trunks in here. And all of these trunks are actually the same tree. Black locust spreads by underground rhizomes, runners, kind of like the way mint does. And it'll pop up shoots all over the place. But if you notice, in between all the trees is a whole lot of undergrowth. And the reason for that is, is because black locust creates a very light shade. So it's fixing nitrogen from the atmosphere. It's creating a very light shade and it's allowing other species to thrive underneath. You could have black locust in your pasture. You could have black locust as a nursery tree to establish other hardwoods. When it's cut, it'll grow back really vigorously. I've seen black locusts grow back, oh, 10, 15 feet in one year from a stump. A lot of people have negative things to say about black locust, and I think that's too bad. I think black locust is a real gift, produces a totally rot-resistant wood, fixes nitrogen, grows fast, will grow in any soil. I'm talking heavy clay, heavy sand, gravel, old gravel pits, sides of the road. Anywhere that humans have scuffed up the earth, black locust will find a home and do well there to colonize that new ground and make room for new trees to grow. If it's uncut, it won't live for that long, maybe 70, 80 years. And in the meantime, you'll get something like a sugar maple forest developing underneath. Let's take one more look at those flowers. I hope some of you guys get to taste them. It's a very short window when black locust flowers are edible. When they're first opening, they taste the best. As they open for a longer period of time and the flowers start to, to die back, they don't taste nearly as good. So you got to get them when they're young and fresh. The honeybees will be all over them. This is a great pollinator tree. Black locust, Rabinia pseudoacacia. I think I could write an entire book about black locust. Maybe I will one day. Thanks for watching. It's really great to know that so many people care about tree identification. It's like learning to read.